What are the non-obvious signs of a smart person? Nuance in their understanding of things. Yep, smart people rarely make big absolute statements about anything. I see what you did there. Nice try BuzzFeed. I found one carrot. Talking to a dumb person will make you feel smart. Talking to a smart person will make you feel dumb. Talking to a very smart person will make you feel smart. If you are the smartest person in a room, you are in the wrong room. They acknowledge areas where they lack knowledge. Being able to acknowledge when they're wrong. This and also being able to admit, I don't know. Or simply being quiet when they don't know something. As opposed to trying to sound smart in spite of their ignorance. Edit. Thanks for all the happy cake day. Wishes. I also have over 20 chat requests. I must confess my ignorance of the chat system on Reddit. I don't know how to tell who is making the requests or if. In a given moment, a particular requester is available to chat. They tend to be, at least in my experience, more open to criticism or being shown facts that change their opinions on things. I don't know if that really falls under smart or more of a wise trait. I'd say wise, but often those who are wise are smart, just not the other way around due to people being arrogant. Larger dendrites in the frontal and temporal lobes. You're a front lobe, your mom has front and back lobes. The problem with the world is that the intelligent people are full of doubts, while the stupid ones are full of confidence. Tilda Charles Bukowski. That's actually a misquote of Bertrand Russell. The fundamental cause of trouble in the world today is that the stupid are cocksure while the intelligent are full of doubt. That's actually a misquote of Fozzie Bear. The fundamental cause of trouble in the world today is that the stupid are cocksure while the intelligent are full of doubt. Waka Waka, quote, the ability to see both sides of the coin rather than just one side. What about the third side? Never forget the third side. You can balance nickels on that side, also quarters too, if you're good at baylicking. They won't argue with stupid people. Even if they know they're right they won't do it. It's impossible to win against a stupid person. They're too stubborn and never have the self-awareness to know they're wrong. Edit. Probability is. Half of the people who upvoted this are stupid. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Just let that sink in. Another mark of an idiot. Thinking they're smart. Never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. Mark Twain. Admitting when they're wrong. Updating their opinions beliefs when presented with proper evidence. Till that Reddit has not met a lot of smart people. Reddit has a lot of teenagers. And teenagers often think they know the answer to questions like this. Even though their experience is limited. So a lot of these answers sound like a kid version of what a smart person is. When both my girls were young, I would tell them, greater than when you get older, you're going to reach an age where you get stupid. It happens to everyone, to some extent. When they're in high school, you and your friends will do dumb things that are unsafe or that you'll later regret doing. The thing is, because you've turned stupid, you won't realize it and you'll think that people trying to help you avoid obvious mistakes are in fact, the dumb ones. You won't listen and you won't learn from others. If you watch your friends you'll see some of them go through this change starting around 8th grade. Greater than, greater than eventually you and your friends will grow out of it. We all do, typically when you're in your early 20s. One day, when my older daughter was a freshman in high school, she came home and said to me, Dad, you were right, some of my friends really have gotten stupid. They do some really dumb stuff and won't listen when I try to help the monsieur to her credit. She applies herself and is one of the most responsible kids I've ever seen. Teenagers are walking examples of the Dunning-Kruger effect. They are at an age where they now know enough to believe they know everything. They need another 10 to 20 years before they learn enough to realize that they know fuck all. They realize not everyone is smart the same way. Your stupid hick neighbor might have dropped out of school in 8th grade. But he can drive your car once and tell you exactly what's wrong. Then fix it, 
That asshole in school that had no empathy for anyone and showed no emotion made that sci-fi shit you thought would never be real. Yeah, she's dingy and her worldview is tiny. But she's the best teacher you've ever met and inspires tons of kids to go on and do great things with themselves. There's no one size fits all answer here really. Edit. Wow, my first gold. Thanks guys. I'm glad so many people feel this. I feel like I can't think of an answer for this one without immediately thinking of multiple contradictory examples. I've spent my entire adult life in academia, and there really isn't a unifying characteristic of all of the highly successful people I have met. I suppose if I were trying to get a sense of someone in an interview setting, I would look for evidence of active listening and ability to ask critical questions on the fly. That said, I know some pretty smart people who are perpetually distracted listeners. I think that's because our definition of smart is so nebulous. Is being smart about knowing lots of things? Is it about being a good learner? Or a quick learner? Do smart people have innate talent? Or have they worked for years to achieve their success? Is having academic intelligence smart? What about emotional intelligence? You might call someone who can memorize things quickly smart, but you'd also call someone who can work out problems quickly smart. It's smart to take a long time to figure out a clever solution to the same problem Monsieur does. Studying make you smart? Take two straight as students. One studies for hours, and the other is able to pick up subject material quickly in class with little supplemental work. Which one is smarter? I think smart is a catch-all word for describing a lot of different mental states and dispositions. But, especially during grade school, it's reduced down to certain kinds of success. I personally define intelligence as the ability to think critically and abstractly. It has nothing to do with admitting you are wrong, or not arguing with stupid people, or many of the other answers in this thread. Those answers to me are indicative of emotional intelligence, which is an equally, if not more, important, but different trait. This distracted listening is actually a common phenomenon amongst intelligent people. I've heard that it has something to do with them knowing where the conversation is going before you get there. They're already formulating the response pattern recognition. Part of the reason smart people throughout history are well known is because they discovered something new and figured out how to maximize its potential. Darwin was a guy who discovered a bunch of islands with slightly different animals. He then collected and analyzed that data to come up with a theory of evolution, which was largely correct. Einstein's theory of relativity was based off of his observation that physics acted on everything equally. He figured out that exceptions were because of the way high-speed objects interact with the universe's speed limit, the speed of light. He recognized these exceptions by gathering them and recognizing the pattern between them all. Then created his theory of relativity based on that. I'd say that the faster and or deeper a person can recognize patterns, the smarter they are. Patterns are in everything. Music, math, video games, really any computer program by its very nature. Language. Don't get caught up in unnecessary arguments. I have found that this comes to a certain point, when another person is not able to process something and therefore stays with his opinion. After a few tries the smart person just gives up. There is no use in trying to make someone understand something while they already have an, an educated opinion. They know how to explain concepts on just about any level, tailoring that level to their intended audience, and without coming across as condescending in any way. This is the sign of a good teacher, not a smart person. They're not the same thing. I have had brilliant professors who were pioneers in their field, but couldn't explain anything for shit. Sure they were smart, but taking their classes sucked ass. The condescending part is more personality-based but you quickly find out how well you actually know something when you try to explain it simply to someone else. Non-obvious sign. I would have to say emotional intelligence. 
Most people picture a smart person being like the typical movies nerd that is really smart at everything except social interactions or flirting but that's not the case. Really smart people can also pick up on social cues faster and better than regular people. Take Richard Feynman for example. He was really smart but was also very sociable. Don't forget about Einstein, allegedly a compulsive womanizer. They're happy to be wrong about something. And then we'll take the time to learn about the subject. The same will go for politics. Rather than just dismissing the other person's opinion they'll take the time to understand it. They are often not very obvious. In fact I'd venture to say they would have to be not obvious in order to qualify. The smartest people I have known were somewhat reserved. Smart equals not a dumbass. Has nothing to do with some educated, obsessive, extrovert. They listen to the other's facts and points and take them into account when giving an objection. They walk a lot I've noticed. Stephen Hawking would like to know your location. I knew it fucker uploaded himself to the internet. They know when to talk and when to listen. They don't boast about their knowledge because they're smart enough to know no one really cares. Self-critical and humorous self-irony. AKA self-defecating humor. Hey guys I shit myself ha ha ha. Sometimes just silence. Silence is a powerful aphrodisiac. They don't feel that they're intelligent. Whatever that means. Seriously. Can anyone give me a proper personal definition of am intelligent person? While they know they are smarter than the average person, they also know there are people way smarter than them in any given subject or multiple subjects. It's often the quality of questions they ask to help you come to a strong conclusion despite knowing the answer, or how exactly to get it, greater than while they know they are smarter than the average person. Isn't that a common fallacy among most people? that they think they're smarter than the average person. That doesn't mean that everyone is wrong about it. If 80% of people think they are smarter than average but only 49% are, then anywhere from 29 to 49% of people are correct about being smarter than average even if 31% are incorrect about that assumption. I always hate that this answer pops up. Humility does not imply intelligence. It's just something that people made up as an easy way to feel intelligent because it's not hard to think that you aren't intelligent and because it's very easy to find examples of people who aren't intelligent but think they are greater than they don't feel that they're intelligent. The more you know, the more you know that you don't know. They usually don't scream when they talk. They don't start physical fights. They stop arguing when they realize that someone is desperately dumb. They learn from their mistakes. Lateral thinking, the ability to think about some subject and then switch gears effortlessly into some other subject and keep them tied together in some way. This can lead to some ambling conversations but that's always fascinating. If we say smart is in creative some of the folks I've worked with will in a conversation work through the pros and cons and explore or be able to explore ideas in some depth with just the conversation as opposed to doing next steps they dive right in and want to get to something cool and they can do so beyond some bullshit surface level conversation this is amazing when you take a smart person from another field and explain your problem to them oftentimes they will have some tried and true method that they can offer up that's novel to you because your discipline experience is sufficiently different from theirs if we talk about real nuggets of gold, this would be among the masseur. Not usually very assertive on sometimes their area. S. Of expertise. I can't tell you how many times I've worked with super smart people who know some subject matter. Cold. And will let some lesser opinion take hold because they didn't assert themselves. I've seen people leave firms rather than have to deal with some bad manager or co-worker who had less good ideas but who is more vocal about them. So often really smart people will take some non-trivial measure of joy in work which most other people find ridiculously boring or tedious. A smart person doesn't tell people that he or she is smart. 
I don't think that is the case and neither do I think that should be the case. Saying that you're smart is a point where people easily think that you're arrogant. I don't understand why it should be allowed to talk positive about yourself regarding any trait but intelligence. Having conversations with your peers. For example about grades in university. One's intelligence is gonna come up. And in situations like this I don't get why you shouldn't talk about intelligence. I honestly don't think grades are a great reflection on intelligence. Some people excel in academia but struggle in the real world and vice versa. It's sort of an artificial environment that rewards compliance and thoughtless work ethic. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.